for the first thing that you'll be needing, you'll be needing some gel glue and something to just mix in all of your ingredients together. So the first thing that you want to do, you're just going to want to take your gel glue, obviously just put that all into a bowl. I've noticed that gel glue is a little thicker than normal glue so it may take a longer while to get that out but you're just going to want to pour it out. And since gel glue is a little bit thicker, I added two and a half tablespoons of water just to kind of thin up the mixture and then you're just going to want to mix that up until it's nice and even. For the next step, you just want to add in your activator, which is one tablespoon of borax mixed in with one cup of hot water. As you can tell, the slime actually began to form really fast. So I started kneading the slime kind of at this texture because I've made gel glue slime before and I definitely over boraxed it. So to be on the safe side, I just started kneading that once I was done mixing it. And it actually turned in to be really, really nice and soft. As you can tell, it is kind of breaking here, but this is just all part of the kneading process. But once you keep on kneading it a bit more, it actually turns out to be really, really nice. As shown here, I'm going to just leave a few clips of me kind of just playing with it so you guys can see the overall texture because it really turned out to be really nice and stretchy and I think that this will actually turn into a really good butter slime. So just for fun, I just decided to add a little bit of some Daiso clay. And I actually just broke off a little piece of it just to kind of make it even with the amount of slime that I have. So I'm just gonna kind of let you guys enjoy this little mixing video I have. So as you can see here, the texture of the slime turned out super thick and fluffy and I'm absolutely in love with it. It's super, super fun to play with. I've never had a butter slime like this thick and fluffy. Like seriously guys, you really have to try out this DIY for yourself if you want to really feel the texture of this. But really guys, it's amazing. It, it makes like the best popping sounds and it's super fun to spread. 